Good morning. I am so excited. Today, Mitch and I are going to go play some baseball. No? Go ahead. Say it. Tell me where you're going. We're going to the Field of Dreams. Just got right. upset he doesn't get to go. Uh, <laughs> He's got a, you know, mic or something like that. Uh, yeah. Awesome. My wife is going to build dreams, and I am not going to build dreams. I didn't think this day would ever come. It's very good pictures. <laughs> I've actually tweaked my route. <clears throat> I've got three options ahead. I'm not doing any of those. I've picked the fourth option. And uh, so I'm going to do that route, and uh, which means I'll be in Illinois for a little over a third of the trip. So we'll see how Illinois is today compared to Wisconsin. So this will be my fourth state. Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, and now Illinois. All right, I'll see you later. Hey everybody, we all made it. It is the end of day eight. A third of the days are gone. A third of the biking days are gone. Yes. And this was a tough one. Um, this will probably be an abbreviated vlog because I am so tired. But a lot did happen today. So the trip started out great. Um, I found a fourth route, which was actually the MRT route, that Google did not like, but I took anyway. I'm glad I did, because it was a pretty pretty good ride. The first five miles was two monstrous hills. But once I got through the monstrous hills, the train evened out fine. Then I got like 60 miles in, and I got a flat tire. Fortunately, Kim was close by, so she came and had all the equipment. I thought, no problem. I fixed flat tires a dozen times. And Kim's trying to keep them laughing. And so she got lunch out while I tried to fix the flat, and I couldn't get it fixed. For the life of me, I couldn't get it. I'm not going to go into detail. So I got frustrated and finally we looked up a bike shop and we took it into the bike shop and they fixed it. The guy there who fixed it actually did say that he understood why I couldn't fix it. And for those bicyclists out there, the bead on the tire was really tight and I couldn't get the tire back on the rim. And he said, yeah, he said that's uh, sometimes, sometimes happens, especially for road bikes. Um, so he wasn't shocked that I couldn't get it on, which made me feel a little better. But it set me out back, what, about an hour? Yeah. Just the frustration of it all, too. And the other part of it is it's so mental. You know, people, when they hear that I bike this distance, they think, they think the physical, the physical, the physicality of it. For me, it's not what it is so much. It's the mental part. You just got to, you know, mentally just be prepared just to grind it out. And so when things pick up like that, it wears on you mentally. So that probably exhausted me more. So I didn't get in until like 6 o'clock. It ended up being like an 11 day, 11 hour ride in total. But we got it done. And um, as far as the bike riding goes, that, that was pretty much my day. Um, Kim had a much better day. Yes. And I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> What did you do today, Kim, with well, Mitch? Mitch and I went to the Field of Dreams. So we got there, and there was a half of a baseball team, um, U13, so boys about 13 years old, and some dads and moms, and they're out there playing, and um, to talk to one of the moms and find out that they're from Westchester, Ohio. They were heading to Omaha, Nebraska for a ball tournament. So it was really cool watching them, and they um, took some pictures um, of Mitch and I. Mitch had a really hard time holding the bat, but he did get on base, and he did lead off. 
on first base. Did um, he steal? Well, nobody could really see him, so oh. you know he could scurry around. All right. Yeah, um, but that was a really neat experience being there, and uh, didn't tour the house, but uh, it was really cool. Did and you, did you feel bad because I wasn't with you? Um. Well, I did get you two gifts. I got a hat and a shirt. Yeah, yeah. It's more than what I get when you go on so, go away. <laughs> okay, well, start that. <laughs> Well, yeah, All right. and um, then went cross country to meet up with the Joe, and oh, so hilly, but some beautiful um, scenery. Took a couple of pictures, and uh, you know, trying to to keep quiet when Joe was struggling with the bike, and um, that was a good move. Yeah, I had my grumpy moment yeah. for about a half hour. Yeah, but he really. Wasn't wasn't bad. He really handled it well and realized he needed some help, and and it worked out great. They were really accommodating, and um, so it was a tiring day, but it's been a good day. And we had great dinner and um, ready to finish this up tonight and get some sleep. No kidding. Yeah. So I went totally. I went ninety eight miles, I believe, uh, today. Yeah. And tomorrow is day nine. We'll be going from East Moline, Illinois to Burlington, Iowa. Burlington, Iowa. And I, I have to choose again between a 91 mile trip that's more flat or an 85 mile trip that's got some hills in it. So I'll be doing that tonight, trying to figure that out before I go to bed. Um, I did ride about a third of the way in Illinois today. Um, so I've been in Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Iowa now on this trip. Mm -hmm. So that's all we've got, I think, for today. Um, I will update the next segment. I did not do a very good job. I did not live up to my subpar standard yesterday with the segment that everyone's waiting for, which is... Dun, dun, dun. Roadkill. Roadkill. No. It's called, What Was That Dead Thing? Mm. So we'll do that, and um, you'll see some pictures from Kim's exciting day at the Field of Dreams, which I may never get to. Mm -hmm. um, you decided to bike instead. All right, <laughs> so we'll see you all later. Bye. Good night. Say bye, Mitch. Bye, bye Mitch. So today is actually relatively uneventful when it came to... Uh, Road fatalities. Um, I was in two different states, um, Iowa and Illinois. In Iowa, I discovered the following. I'll list them, list them up on the screen. I don't know what my background is. That's the headboard of the, headboard of the bed. I'm too lazy to get up and move and try to find a better spot. I'm too tired. So hopefully you'll be able to read it. I don't know. But in Iowa, four UFOs, two birds, a coon, a turtle, actually, check that. Seven UFOs, five birds, a coon, and a turtle. That's all I found in Iowa. That's a lot better. I mean, Iowa's got figured out. Wisconsin? Well, what's the last episode? So I was curious as to Illinois. Illinois, I found only... I was in Illinois for um, 47 miles, mm -hmm. 47 miles in Illinois, and I only found five fatalities. Illinois has got it figured out. Road safety, Illinois has got it all figured out. Wisconsin needs to call up Illinois and, and ask them what they are doing to keep their roads Safer. I found a bird, a turtle, and a rabbit. The first groundhog. I got an interesting fact about groundhogs, but I'm too tired to share. I'll share it tomorrow or something. And the first chipmunk. That was it. So there you have it. Those are the numbers. Um, I will put the totals up this time. Yesterday I forgot. Sorry for all those who were. On pins and needles, waiting for the totals and didn't get them. Probably ruined your entire night. I'll do better this time. I'll put the totals up. Even if I don't put the day's totals up, I'll put the totals up for the whole trip so you can get a good night's sleep. 
Um, that is all because I'm really tired. Did I say that part? I think I said that part. I'm really tired. So, see you later. How much does it cost to fix a flat tire on a bicycle? The answer, I don't care. Priceless. Why don't you ask the question? Oh, how much would I pay to fix Joe's flat tire? Absolutely anything. It's priceless. I'm so glad he decided it needed to be fixed. Yeah, that was a that was a long answer. Okay. Yes.